everybody welcome back to kids church have you all started school yet are you ready do you know your times tables or your abcs what about your greek symbols what i didn't know we needed to learn the greek symbols what even is that okay you don't need to know all your greek symbols but there are actually two that are used in the bible Oh, I remember those. They are Alpha and Omega. Yes, God describes himself as the Alpha and Omega, meaning the beginning and the end, just like the letters A and Z in our alphabet. What? How can God be the beginning and the end? On earth, there's a beginning and an end for a lot of things, just like school or our holidays. But God is so powerful that He is both the beginning and the end and everything in between. Wow, that's so cool! I can't wait to learn more about it in today's Bible lesson. But first, I want to praise and worship God. Let's go! Today, our new memory verse is John 1 verse 1. Let's say the verse together. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. Let's repeat it one more time. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. Wait, it's not yet bye-bye time. I have a song for you. Let's sing it together.
Sunday. All right, everyone. Now let's prepare our hearts and our minds to worship the Lord and thank Him for everything that He has done. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You everyone let us pray before we listen to the Bible lesson today father God we want to thank you for being Alpha and Omega the beginning and the last father we want to put all of our hope all of our trust and all of our faith in you Lord we know that you are unstoppable and you really are the greatest thing and that your grace is what sustains us every single day Father, I pray that you would open our hearts, our ears, and our minds to receive your word today, that it would become a blessing for us and we would be able to put it into practice to be a blessing to other people as well. In Jesus' name we pray, we all say, Amen. Hope you all enjoyed the Bible lesson that's coming up next. John, one of Jesus' disciples, wrote to tell people about who Jesus is. John wrote that the word Jesus existed in the beginning before the world even began. The word has always existed with God 
and the Word has always existed as God. He was with God in the beginning. When God spoke at creation, all things were created through His Word. Not one thing was created apart from Him. The Word brought life into the world and light for all people. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness could not hide it. God sent a man named John the Baptist to be a witness to the light. John was not the light, but he came to tell people about the light so they might believe. The true light was coming into the world to give light to everyone. When Jesus came into the world, people did not recognize him. His own people did not accept him, but this is good news. To everyone who did accept him, he gave them the right to be a part of God's family, to be children of God. The word became a human and lived among us. People saw his glory, the glory of the one and only Son of God. He was full of grace and truth. John the Baptist told people that even though Jesus came into the world after him, Jesus is greater because he existed before John. People received blessings from Jesus, grace upon grace. Long ago, God gave people the law through Moses, but now he has given us grace and truth through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, but Jesus, God's one and only son, has shown us what God is like. Good morning, kids. How are you all? I hope that you are well. I uh, think I will be seeing all of you today at church. Isn't it great? God is good. That we can have this second boat services and we can accommodate all of you in our classes. So if you uh, haven't come to church yet, you know, bring your mom, tell them that we, that you guys can come to church now and we can, um, we can gather uh, all the numbers of the kids from Christ Center Kids Church. Also, don't, don't be afraid to invite your friends as well to come to church. We have space available for them. We still continue uh, making disciples and tell your friends about Jesus and invite them to church. In the month of February, uh, we're going to be learning uh, from the book of John. This month, uh, memory verse also from the book of John will be from John 1, first one. And this is exactly what we're going to learn as well today. The title of today's uh, lesson is about God is the Alpha and Omega. So repeat after me. God is the Alpha and Omega. Okay. So, we're going to be reading from John 1, verse 1. Let's start with this one. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. And the Word was God. Now let, let's just take this slowly. Oh, what does that mean? It's kind of confusing. Take it easy. Let's uh, do this a bit slower. Okay? slow work yeah um and and we're trying to understand what this this verse means in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god this is one truth about the bible you know the bible always speak about the truth it's saying that god was there in the beginning God was always there and always be in the beginning now I'm trying to uh, get a long ropes but I found a long cables okay in the beginning was the word so this is the very beginning of this world the very beginning of everything was the word so this is the word and this is a timeline timeline time keep going going 
very long, right? In the beginning, where's the word? Right, it's very long, right? And and it's saying it's not just that God is also the end. That's what actually what Alpha and Omega means. God is the beginning, and God is the end. That's the end. And it's not just that God is all in between, between the beginning and the end. Now let's go back to that first. The word is with God, all right? So what does that mean? The word A, B, C, D, E? No, no, it's not that kind of word. The word means Jesus, because in verse 14 of the book of John, it's saying the word became flesh. What does flesh mean? This is flesh. The word became human. So if we can replace Jesus into that verse, back to that verse, in the beginning, Jesus was Jesus. Jesus was the beginning. The word was with God. Jesus was with God. And the word was God. Jesus was God. Now we know that no surprise when Jesus said anything, like he calmed the storm, said, he said, be still, the storm was still. Uh, and, uh, and when he said things like, um, you know, do all the healing, he walk on the waters and he does all kind of miracles. We know that his word has the authority and very powerful. That's because, because that He is God. The Word was God. So I'm gonna repeat again. In the beginning was the Word. Jesus was there in the beginning. The whole creation of this whole universe, everything that you see, Jesus was there. Yes, He did came to the world 2,000 years ago in the, on the, uh, as a baby on a manger. It has a mom and dad, Mary and Joseph, but that is Jesus in the flesh. But Jesus as God was there in the beginning, before the whole world were created. He was there in the beginning and He was with God. The Word was with God because Jesus was God. In the beginning, if we, uh, I think some of you are familiar with the uh, Bible verse from Genesis 1:1, in the beginning God created heaven and earth. Does that mean Jesus created uh, heaven and earth? Yes, He did. He is the one that created heaven and earth. He is part um, of the Creator of this whole universe, the one that we can see because He is God. Now talk about. Uh, this to your teachers um, what do you know about Jesus did you just realize that uh, Jesus is actually God um, well he is God but at the same time as well that he is human that came to the earth 2000 years ago um, so talk to your uh, friends talk to your teachers about Jesus what do you know about Jesus good now let's go back to the Bible first again Revelation 1 8 it's saying I am the Alpha and Omega says the Lord God who is and who was who is to come the Almighty oh this is getting a bit confusing again so I'm gonna explain it to you um, slower okay God saying, I am the Alpha and Omega. Now you know the meaning of Alpha and Omega. Alpha means the beginning. Omega means the end. Alright. I am the beginning and the end. Alright. Um, he said, who is? Who was? Who is to come? It means he was the past. He was, he is the present time and he is our future as well. It means that he knows everything. 
He knows everything about our life. He knows everything about you. Now that's why it is important for us to actually to start acknowledging Jesus, to say hi to Jesus in the morning. First thing when we wake up in the morning, we greet Him, we greet God. And before we go to bed, we say, God, thank you for today. Thank you. Good night. What do you do in the morning? What What is the first thing that you do in the morning? Do you eat breakfast? Do you pray? Did you uh, do something else? Playing games? Or you just pack up and uh, brush your uh, teeth? Uh, talk to uh, teachers and your friends. What did you do in the beginning of your day? Now, why don't you also talk about what did you do uh, before you go to bed, before you actually close your eyes. Now we need to remember, God is the Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and He is the end. And it's not just that. He is everywhere in between. In between, God is always there. God is always with you now whenever you feel uh, you have uh, any difficult time when you feel, when you feel any fear when you're afraid of something remember God is with you and you can just call out pray to God any time of the day at school uh, at the swimming lesson, yes, while swimming you can pray and cry out and call out to God, yes you can. Why don't you share with your friends and teachers, um, what is the most uh, hard, uh, the hardest thing that you experienced recently? The problems or troubles, anything that uh, you feel that, oh this is too much, this is too hard, I'm, I'm nervous about this, I'm, I'm afraid of this thing, I don't know how to face these challenges. Why don't you talk to your teachers and talk to your friends and you know uh, and share what you guys experienced and how did you guys overcome that fear or that uh, anxiety? Um, continue to invite your friends to the church because um, God loved them as well, even though probably your friends doesn't know Jesus yet but tell your friend about Jesus so that so they can experience God's love in their life so at that that's a lesson for today remember um, that Jesus is always there for you and continue to pray say to him in the morning he is the beginning so in the morning God thank you for the nice good sleep tonight last night um, and God bless today bless the school today Thank you for everything. And at night, thank you God for a day that um, I had today, school, the homework and the food and everything. Thank you for today. Continuously say um, thank you to God and greet Him, whatever you do uh, during the day as well. Okay, God bless you kids and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
Hi everyone, how are you all? How is your first week of school? I hope all of you enjoy going back to school classes and enjoy the playground with your friends. So what do we learn from today's lesson? God is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the first and the last and not just that, He is also everything in between. From the day we were born to the last day of our life, we need Him. We need His guidance, His help and also His love. And we need His salvation for eternal life. Knowing that eternal life only comes from Jesus who died on the cross, let's tell our friends about this good news. Share with them how good Jesus has been to you and your family and how He died on the cross to save every one of us. And don't forget to pray for and with your friends. So let's close today's lessons with prayer. Father God, thank you for everything you have done for us, for creating us, and for always be there for us. You are our source of everything. Thank you for always uh, looking after us from the morning till night. Father, we are grateful for your unfailing love and your faithfulness. Thank you once again, Jesus, for dying on the cross for us and give us, uh, and give us courage and love uh, to share this good news to our friends so they can experience your goodness and your salvation. Thank you, Father. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I'll see you next week, everyone. Bye-bye.